Hi everyone, welcome to uh, IIT and Gate classes. And I'm Dheeraj. And uh, in this session, I will be talking about uh, the audio uh, recruitment 2023. Okay, uh, through valid gate score. Okay, so they the audio is not going to conduct separate examination. They have released the notification, the advertisement number 145. Okay, for 2023 through valid gate scores. So what are the outlines, the number of vacancies branch wise, I will be discussing here. And then I will talk about the age limit for general category for reserve candidate like for OBC and for SCSTs and uh, the selection process, okay, and the important dates. So you, you guys have to uh, also follow the official website of DRDO, okay, carrier. And uh, you will get the complete notification also on our website, I attend the classes, right? So uh, this is the advertisement number 145 and that, that you have to keep in mind because uh, there are many advertisements. Uh, if you uh, visit, uh, you know, DRDO website, official website, so there will be many advertisements. You have to focus on advertisement number 145. So RAC invites uh, online application for graduate engineers and the postgraduate in science, including students who are appearing or have appeared in their final year exam through RAC. Okay. Uh, this is the website here, the official website for recruitment to the post of scientist B, right? So they will be offering you scientist B position uh, in DRDO, the defense uh, research and uh, development organization uh, at a level 10, uh, okay? Pay matrix of 56,100, okay? And if you're going to uh, get a job in um, in the metro cities, so per month uh, salary you can expect one lakh, including HR and all, right? So this recruitment is basically uh, uh, is in the discipline mentioned uh, uh, in the next slide. In fact, okay, will be based on the uh, valid gate score and the personal interview, right? So uh, that you have to keep in mind, okay? So moving forward, the number of vacancies and the branch wise. Uh, uh, what are the brands we have got here? The brands like electronics and communications. So for uh, a general category, they have given 19 vacancies and the total vacancies are 49, right? So you can see here uh, EWF and OBC and SCSTs, right? So what are the essential qualifications? Essential qualifications would be in electronics and communication, okay? And the gate uh, qualification, right? So what is the meaning of valid gate score? As everybody knows that the gate uh, score is valid for three years year so as this notification has been released in this year uh, 2023 so if you have got the gate score uh, in 2021 or 22 you can always utilize right and the equivalent acceptable uh, notifications uh, you know for this in unaccept a you will find in the written notification so what are other branches if uh, suppose in some of the colleges you know electronics and communication is not there they have mentioned electronics engineering or uh, electronics and telecommunication engineering right so you can visit the official uh, uh, website and you can also get the notification uh, and you can read the advertisement right for mechanical you can see uh, 44 vacancies are there total and for general category 17 vacancies for computer science uh, 16 vacancies total is 34 including all these reserve candidate vacancies okay and the essential qualifications and everything is same. But this you have to keep in mind. Uh, the paper code for electronics and communication branch is EC. A paper code for mechanical engineering is ME. Okay, so you should have the gate score uh, uh, in paper code of EC, mechanical and CS. And if you're from electrical engineering, so for electrical engineering, there is only one vacancy for a scientist B position, okay, and there are total five vacancies, so that you have to understand. So for electronics only, there are 49, for mechanical this time, 44, but for electrical, they have given very less, okay. And for other branch of like material engineering, right, so you should have uh, appeared gate uh, in met metallurgy, uh, curl engineering, right, uh, and there are 10 vacancies total, okay, and uh, four vacancies are for general category, and if you're from physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, as far as GRDO is concerned, they always recruit for BTEC as well as science graduates as well, right? So, but uh, for science graduate as well, uh, they should have uh, a master's in physics, chemistry, in particular domain, right? 
So uh, and they, they they this this would have appeared in the gate examination and uh, should have the valid you know gate score right. So uh, an XR A you have to refer right uh, okay uh, apart from physics related branches okay that you can refer and check right. So uh, this is for array space. So this time for array space total vacancies are seven. Uh, though last year in 2022 uh, bumper vacancies was there right so from uh, in fact from our uh, uh, igc uh, you know uh, we have uh, in fact uh, from igc classes uh, there were more than uh, 15 students you know got selected in drdo directly right out of 27 vacancies so this year seven vacancies for general three okay and for mathematics and civil engineering you can see for general no vacancies are there total vacancies are two and for general only in mathematics you can see right so you should have a master degree if you are a science graduate so master degree people can uh, apply for that the total vacancies are 181 uh, okay and 73 uh, is for general 18 for ews and these are the reserve candidate vacancies okay so what are the important notes that you have to keep in mind uh, the applicant who have appeared in the final year right so uh, if you have uh, done uh, final year, like you have given the examination and may submit their degree or provisional, okay. So if you are supposed to get your provisional degree or uh, kind of degree, right, final degree before 31st August 2023, then only you should apply for this. Otherwise, you should not fill the application form. They will not accept, right. This is very important because most of the final year candidates also will be willing to become a, you know, scientist B at the RGO. And they might have got uh, valid gate score in their third year, right? Because nowadays gate is allowed for third year as well. So uh, if you are supposed to get your degree, that is very important uh, criteria that you have to understand, right? So if you are supposed to get your degree in degree 31st August before 31st August date should be mentioned. In case of particular institute uh, does not have this criteria for first class like 60%, okay? So this is uh, will be taken as a first class for that institute remember and uh, so minimum 60 percentage is required okay and cgpa 6.75 okay so these are the points which you have to keep in mind uh, before you fill, fill up the uh, you know drdo application form and for if i talk about uh, age limit so this is one of the very important criteria so for uh, general category there is uh, 28 years and for obc 31st and uh, SCST 33 year, right? So they have given some relaxation for uh, non creamy as well as SCSTs, right? So that you have to keep in mind. And for central uh, government employees, also they have given some relaxation irrespective of their category, right? So that you have to understand, okay? So these are the things uh, that you can go through, okay? Moving forward, uh, what are the selection process, okay? Because this is also one of the key parameters, you know, uh, before you fill up the uh, any application form. So, uh, what is the selection process? So, there are two stages basically. They will be screening, or you can say they will be shortlisting based on the gate score. Okay. And the gate score you can consider here is the 2021, 2022, and 2023. Okay. The valid gate score. And then they will call you, uh, call for the interview, right? So, depending upon the gate score, okay, if you have good gate score or if you have got very high gate score. So then uh, you will you might get shortlisted right so screening and based on the category as well okay so the very first parameter is gate score the valid gate score i'm talking about right the valid gate score valid means the gate score is valid for three years that you know okay and the interview interview plays an important role uh, uh, the organization like drdo as well as in in, in in its through exam as well right so that you have to keep in mind okay and what are the selection criteria so the final selection of the candidate will be pure uh, purely basis of the discipline wise category wise mat merit okay so 80 percent they will give you uh, uh, for the gate score okay so that is for gate score 80 percent and 20 percent weighted will be given for personal interviews so you can understand here is that if your gate score is uh, amazing right uh, if your gate score is very good so uh, you you uh, the weightage will be given to gate score maximally that is 80 percent and 20 percent weightage of the marks is for pr you know pi or personal interview 
and only those candidates securing minimum qualifying marks uh, like 70% right and 60% so out of 80% uh, percent and 20% you are, uh, for general they have to score at least 70% and for other candidates they should they have to score 60 percent you know for uh will be considered for provision of the final merit list right okay so in addition to above they might use some tool uh you can say selection tool or a test may be administered okay they might conduct test as well that you have to keep in mind so at sole discretion of the rec so uh suppose you're going for uh, the interview so they might conduct any kind of test also okay depending upon the situation okay and what are the important dates uh, so important dates to remember here is that uh, the online submission closes 21 of days after so they did not mention any particular date uh, since the notification has got released and the advertisement number is 145 right so now you there is a time around uh, you know day before a study only the notification got released right so uh, you have still 20 days or you can say more than 15 days you know to apply for this online registration closes on 21 days from the date of activation of online registration link so once you 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 guys can keep visiting the drdo career page okay at rec website uh, okay so they will be activating the online registration link the moment the online registration link will be activated so after 21 days that that you have to keep in mind okay so uh um, before uh, at the five you can say 1700 uh, ist you have to finish your application form right so what is the fee of that around i think 100 rupees uh, is you know the application fee might be there right and some of the important documents which you have to upload over there so those things you have to uh, make ready before you um, proceed for filling up the application form right so though you can you, you what you can do is you can um, refer uh, you know refer the detailed uh, advertisement right number 145 i have given you the brief idea okay the key important points okay the people who are eligible to apply okay and uh, so out of that uh, now you have to follow the uh, career page in fact uh, you can also follow our website where you will get the advertisement so um, we are here to support uh, for ISRO, for DRDO, for GATE exam, uh, for all the branch of engineering, uh, particularly electronics, electrical, instrumentation, mechanical, aerospace, okay. So uh, if you guys want any kind of support uh, from IGC, right, so you guys can contact on this number and also you can mail us uh, info at the rate iitmgateclasses.com and uh, you can also visit our official website. So you might get uh, the advertisement. And you can also follow us uh, on uh, different uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and YouTube, as well as uh, the Telegram. We have got a dedicated group. More than 1,000 people are there in separate groups, right? So you can also subscribe all these channels and if you want any kind of support, right? So uh, we will be meeting in the different session with a fresh opportunity. So thank you so much. Uh, uh, you know, we'll meet uh, uh, in the next session. Thank you.